Hi, I'm Matt Cavender from MattCavender.com and today we're going to show you how to draw UML diagrams. First we're going to open up Photoshop. So here I'm going to open up Adobe Photoshop CS4. So let's go ahead and uh, build our own UML diagram. So we're going to go to File and go to New. We're going to call this UML Diagram. We're going to make it 1,000 pixels wide and 700 tall, and we'll make it 72 DPI. Press OK. So we're going to make a bunch of rectangles. We're going to make, and we're going to start off with the one at the top. So that's that one. And so we have one there, and what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this because we're going to need about six or seven of them. So right now you have shape one over here in the layers. And so you're going to right click on that and duplicate the layer. Press OK. And now you, if you need to get, so you're going to select both of them now and duplicate the layers. And so now you have four of them. I think we'll do one, one more group of two and we'll have six. So now you have six, six rectangles. Now we are going to arrange the shapes that we made. So we're going to move this one down here. And all you have to do is make sure that the auto select is on, and then you can go in and grab each one and move them where you please. So I'm going to move these down here. Right now that one goes off the screen a little bit. So I'm going to select all four of these. So you, what you do is you click on the empty space, and then you click, you're, you're not touching anything. And so then you can hit the one, hold down shift, and grab all four of them and then hold down shift and you can move them over move them all at once and then to make sure that they're even they're already all selected as you can see right here all of them have that white blue shading you can click horizontal alignment and now they're all evenly there all right then i'm going to grab another one here and then that was the last one that we made so i hit apple or i hit apple z to undo that and then, so I'm going to grab, I'm going to make another one of this one right here, over here, right click, hit duplicate layer, and then move this one over. All right, and then, so now we've got a setup here where we can uh, make some arrows. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab, if you go into the rectangle tool, you go down to, um, custom shape tool and you go up to the top here and you see shape and you see arrows see there's an arrow there and that's basically what we need all right let's see what this looks like so you're gonna have it's gonna start when you hold down on it it'll make a it'll make an arrow so I'm gonna make it about that big and right now you see it over here is a shape too we're gonna make it I'm gonna make it black all right, there you go, now you can see it. And we're gonna turn it on an angle. So we're gonna hit Apple T. By hitting Apple T, it's a shortcut and we can transform it. And so we're gonna go like this and turn it just enough so that it points up and hit enter when you're done. All right, and then that's set. And then we're gonna duplicate this um, a number of times. All right, so then there's two of them that we have here, and so hold shift and grab both of them and duplicate it again. And one more time. All right, so now this one is done. We're going to bring this down. Grab one of them here. And then this one, grab one more over here, and we're going to bring it down. And now this one, this arrow here and then this arrow here, I'm gonna I hold shift and I grab both of them. We're gonna flip around horizontally. So we're gonna go up to edit, go down to transform, and then we're gonna go down to flip horizontally. So edit, transform, flip horizontally. And then that flips them around. So then you click the empty space and you can grab the one and move it over. And then to grab this one and move it over. And then we're gonna grab this far left one where I think we still have one with and I think we have one more. All right. 
and we're going to flip this one horizontally as well. So edit, transform, flip horizontally. And I'm going to move these down just a little bit. And then move this over just a little bit. Use the arrow I put that selected. And uh, that's basically a UML diagram. I'm Matt Govenda from MattGovenda.com. And this is how you make a UML diagram.